Hello. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm just about to do it now. Any tips? Be casual. Be funny. No pressure. Don't wear a shirt. A shirt. Okay, well, you know, I've... that one I've cracked. Well, you've left some pretty big shoes to fill, so I'm gonna do my best for you, Tom. What's up insiders? My name is Connor. I work on the ads policy team and what my team does is we write the advertiser friendly guidelines and how that impacts you is those guidelines decide what gets a green icon and what gets a yellow icon. Um, we also work on clarifying the questionnaire that's now accessible by everybody in YPP um, and it's something that we're going to be doing an awful lot of work on over the coming weeks. So I'm here to be one of your first of many new hosts of the News Flash going forward. Um, and I'll hope to bring some of that policy knowledge in. Uh, but I have some really exciting non-policy news flashes for you today. Uh, the first is about the YTA video overview experiment. Now, this is a new analytics video overview that has smarter explanations about how your video is doing. It's going to tell you more about how it's doing from the point of view of the YouTube homepage and watch next suggestions. It's also going to call out two key metrics. Now, the first of those is the click through rate and your average view duration, um, which are important signals, as we know, of your audience's interest and engagement in what you're talking about. Um, now, Patricia is going to do this justice by going through a deep dive sneak peek on this soon. So stay tuned for more information. Next up, we have the new Made for Kids video filtering feature in Studio. Uh, so this is pretty simple. Creators can now easily filter uh, for videos marked as Made for Kids, set by you, uh, or set to Made for Kids, which is set by us in YouTube. And that's going to be found on the videos page of Studio. Next up, we have the new Copyright Strike pop-up. And uh, now what that's going to involve is the copyright strike pop-up rolling into YouTube Studio. This was something that was available in Classic um, and it tells you uh, when a new copyright strike appears on your channel and you actually log into Studio now. Um, now, much like the old pop-up, it's going to tell you some general information uh, about copyright strikes and there'll also be some links where you can review details around the strike, like who issued it, um, and what videos were taken down and how you can actually resolve it. So we hope that's going to be really helpful. And now next up, I'm introducing Lari, who's filmed her own segment. She's trying to hijack my audition to be host here, but we'll forgive her that. And she's going to talk a little bit about Famebit and an exciting update from her team. Hi everyone, my name is Lori and I lead the global business for Famebit, which many of you may know as YouTube's branded content platform. As we discussed a few weeks ago, we will be expanding and evolving our full service offering to better serve creators, brands, and viewers. And we are also introducing some new changes to the platform that we believe will help us achieve this goal. Today, I'm going to share a few immediate changes and take a look at what's to come with YouTube branded content, including more creator eligibility, something I know you've all been asking for. First off, we'd like to reintroduce ourselves. Famebit is now officially YouTube Brand Connect, in keeping with our core YouTube product identity. Now we've spoken to a lot of you and brands, and what we've realized is Famebit doesn't really signal branded content nor does it align with YouTube. So after speaking with a lot of creators and surveying a lot of advertisers as well, we've decided that YouTube Brand Connect is the way to go. We're doubling down on the features that make us unique with influencer marketing, such as audience-based matchmaking, true organic measurement tools, and product innovations like the shopping shelf, AR try-on, and more. These tools allow your fans to shop, download apps, and virtually try on products directly from your videos, 
helping drive even more fan engagement. You can read more on the YouTube blog, which we'll drop a link to below. We want to make it as easy as possible for creators to be onboarded. Now eligible creators can find YouTube Brand Connect directly within YouTube Studio. Here you can view the terms and sign up so we can start pitching you to brands for campaigns. We've also focused on delivering new tools and resources to help you succeed on YouTube. Many of you are aware of the incredible Creator Academy resource. We've just launched a brand new course on how to make money with branded content. Check out the course link below and let us know what you think. We're looking at building even more great features to help creators manage their campaigns this year and more products to drive engagement like the media shelf for streaming shows and movies. Finally, as mentioned, we're working really hard to bring YouTube branded content to more creators across the US and internationally, and we'll be sure to get back to you on updates there soon. Well, that's all I've got for you now. Thanks everyone. And we're really looking forward to seeing the incredible branded content that all of you will be creating on YouTube this year. Woo! Thanks, Larry. And that's it for this week. Uh, but wait, we haven't actually announced our most important topic, which is who won Tom's last trivia question. The question, if you don't remember, was approximately how many subscribers did this channel have in July of 2017? And the person to guess the quickest, you've guessed it, was Easy Peasy Finance with 10,000 subscribers. We've definitely grown since then, and that's in no small part down to this community, which gives us great feedback in the comments um, and really keeps us on track. Um, now, I'm told I have to think of some trivia myself, uh, so I'm going to dig deep and go back to Ireland, where I'm from, um, and ask you, what famous alcoholic beverage is called the wine of Ireland? Uh, comment below and we'll pick out the person with their quickest finger on the pulse next week. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye.